Hey guys, um, just having breakfast of 50 grams of just right and 50 grams of fruit fibre, just carbs. And then got my water on deck. I try and drink three of these. These are 2.2 litre ones. Well, it's really important to stay hydrated. As you can see, it's my outro now. And then um, me and my girlfriend are going to try this coffee that she got. Her dad got her. And it's cat poo. So I'll see how it is and I will tell you guys where. Here's the coffee. The, the animal poos it out and then they filter it and it makes coffee because there's coffee beans in the poo and they say it's the purest form of coffee out there because of processes you can wikipedia that or google it the coffee has been said it was instant but it's not so we're going to have to filter it we got a coffee machine to do it there's two grey in it at the bottom of that mug good thing in Here's the coffee. It worked, the filter. I don't think it was instant coffee. Oh. Do you think it's a bit sour? Like? Yeah, because it's, appar it's apparently from the cherries that they they ferment the cherries that these little cats poo out. And like, don't you feel like you can taste cherries? Real card, my poor workout tonight for you guys. So, I'll catch you then. See you guys later. Right, coming in with a heavy pull workout here. So I'm doing deadlifts to start off with. Top tips for deadlifts is uh, drive through with your heels as you drive up. The bar should uh, come straight up and straight down as you can, you'll see in the next clip right now. So as you, you can see, my the bar goes straight up and straight down. You shouldn't rock it forward. You shouldn't hit your knees when you come down on your shins. So, um, another tip of, for this is uh, stick your chest out and drive through with your glutes. See, now how I drive through with my glutes. This is uh, really activates your lower back and lets you get a little bit heavier weight on the bar. You can see in later clips that uh, my chest starts to go and I start arching my back forward. So it's like a curve. You'll see now. I start, there you go. See how the weight pulled me forward? You shouldn't let that happen. You'll see it in the next clip really good. This is a 193 I was doing. So I got the first rep good. Second rep, the weight pulled me over. Then the third rep was really bad. But um, that's why I'm wearing a belt to really uh, tighten up my core and stop that happening. Moving on to lower bar rows. This targets your middle back and secondary muscle your low lats um, tips on this is uh, drive through your elbows don't let your biceps and forearms take over so I hook it with my four fingers this really helps you emphasize your middle back and your low lats and uh, also keep a straight back when you're doing it don't move forward or backwards you can move forward if you're doing really heavy and uh, use a little bit of momentum backwards to get that extra weight up but uh, I like to stay straight back like Gemma d Gemma's doing now. So uh, as you can see, she's uh, squeezing at the top. That's what you should do to activate the middle back. Right at the top. Here's me again. You can see my uh, middle back activating when I squeeze it right at the top, right there. Moving on to my bicep superset, starting off with close grip preach curl to target your short head of your bicep. Tips on this is to lock your elbows down on the pad to really focus it on your short head of your bicep also I curl my wrists in to target the peak of my bicep Arnold told uh, Frank Zane to do this that's where I learn it then moving on to Lovado curls to isolate your long head of your bicep I hold the dumbbell on one end and then curl it as I come up this uh, also focuses on your short head of the bicep as well as your long head so as you can see uh, I keep my elbows in one position during the movement. This really allows me to focus on my biceps and uh, gets the m best contraction out of the exercise possible. Then moving into my back superset, starting off with overhead pull downs. 
tips on this is to keep your arms bent and keep them bent all the way through the movement. This really targets your lat. You can change your position of your uh, stance. If you go further backwards, it targets your lower lats. If you go further forwards, it targets your upper lats. Uh, keep your chest in line with the wire, the cable, and that really focuses your lats the most. Then moving on to my second exercise, underarm cable rows. This targets your traps and a little bit of your lower lats. So tips on this is to row up towards your chest and have a little lean in your back as you're rowing. Uh, as you row up to your chest, this really isolates your traps. And uh, that's it, guys. Next clips you'll see is the failures I do. So I'll just leave them raw. And I hope you enjoy the cooking clip at the end of what I had from my first workout meal. Remember to comment, uh, comment, subscribe, and like the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Right, guys. First workout meal after the pull, burritos, I'm going to show you how to make them. So the chicken's already prepped, you can use as much as you want, it just depends on your macros. So chicken's there, used all these seasoning to use it, you can use whatever seasoning you want. Got the rice ready. Got a rice cooker. If you haven't got a rice cooker, you should get one. They're only like £10. Spray some. Spray. Pour it in. And then just add two bowls of this. And just press cook on this one. And then it'll take like 20 minutes and then it'll go to warm. And then it'll be done. I'll show you the wraps. Mission Deli. Mediterranean herb wraps, you can get them at Tesco, macros on these, per wrap, there you go, 4 grams fat, 31.8 grams carbohydrates, 4.7 protein, nice and easy bulky meal, I'll show you when the burritos are ready. Right there, in that lighting. Oh, there's two, there we go. So I've cooked all the rice and chicken and veg, mixed it all in, now you put it in. Onto the wrap, about three spoonfuls or four. Get it all into a nice. Then I'm going to add some barbecue sauce, 10 grams. Perfect. Then you fold it one way, then the other, then like that. And that's a burrito. Homemade burrito, guys. Go on, eat so, it. So I'm going to do it with the other one. Me and Gemma are watching the whole nine yards. We've got to watch it on a laptop because <coughs> the HDMI to cable, the Thunderbolt cable doesn't work. So we've got to watch it. On the laptop. Laptop. Depressing. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember guys, stay hydrated.